everybody, welcome back. I've got a journal I've completed that I thought I would share with you guys. This is a custom order, and I don't uh, normally get the time to do a flip through, but I've had a little bit of time, and I really did want to share this one with you guys. Um, the request was for a bee journal, and um, a lot of... Um, sunflowers incorporated into it and this is what I came up with uh, completely you know custom from what well, it, it's it's in the keeping with like the amity bloom style I guess um, so everything has been constructed um, completely if <laughs> gosh I'm having trouble here um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not an altered book. So this is this has all been constructed from from the ground up. So you can see on the front, I've got a lot of um, layers of vintage laces and trims. And then this was a beautiful little crocheted flower that I purchased ages ago. And then I love this um, old fabric placemat. And it's just beautiful, and then this trim on top of that, and the fabric is vintage as well. So this is the cover, the little charm there that's stitched on, and of course the um, the image. And then this is just some lace closure. So it's a two signature, and the spine is about a two inch spine, because she had asked for this to be a very chunky journal. So it's, it's, it's ended up a very big one. So this flips over on the front here. And I'm not going to pull everything out. Um, I just want you guys to have a, a quick look through. Uh, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. And lots of um, mixes of journal cards that she can use throughout. And then this is just a little uh, coin style pocket with a little charm that's that's dangling off of that. So I've got a mix of um, some old notebook, vintage notebook paper and tea dyed papers. Um, I've got some of the little charms that um, I made using uh, Took's little tutorial and those have been glossy accent um, on those, and they've all got little bee images. And then I've, I've put uh, several of these snippet tabs throughout this one. Um, she likes a lot of laces, and so I just tried to make a lot of uh, really feminine touches within it. I've done decoupaging, stamping, stenciling throughout. And yes, I can't believe how many uh, bee kits I own. <laughs> I think um, I probably own more bee kits than anything in my whole collection. And it's amazing how many digital I, I have now. But um, the bees, I was really shocked when I realized how many kits I own. So this was a technique um, that I recently did for my patrons on the glass scene paper and then this is a journal card that I've backed onto some old piano paper and just made and then this is stamped. Um, so that's a little tag in there because like I said she likes purples and um, I think we have a very similar taste so journal card there tucked inside and then um, some more bees here I love this page if you follow me on Instagram I recently showed that and then this is one of the little tiny envelopes and then there's a little journal card inside that handmade paper included in this and then this is some beautiful um, doily dyed, uh, coffee dyed paper. So it's just a, a nice mix. 
of the kits that all coordinated. Um, I love this journal. I am um, going to be very sad to see it leave. And uh, as much as I promise myself I'm going to make myself something, I, I never seem to get around to it. Because yes, I, it's um, it's definitely a journal that I have poured my heart into this one. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love all of the colors in it. And the images are just just beautiful. And then um, this little page here. So there's a lot of the tuck spots and pockets, but still quite a lot of um, writing space within this as well. Um, this journal, I think, ends up being about, um, it's a little window tag. Uh, I'll measure it at the end because I'm not too sure, but it's a, it's one of my bigger journals. It's been a long time since I've done a full-size journal, but um, I have really enjoyed working in this. just love the colors on this. I put that little snippet there. So as I said, I'm not going to pull everything out um, to show you guys, but you can you can get an idea. There's a lot going on in here, and this has got some vintage um, tea cards tucked in there so that she can use when she's journaling. And there's another of the little charms that I made. I must sit down and do some more of those because I've used them all up now. This is handmade paper. A lot of stitching throughout. And these are those little coin, um, uh, I don't know. Where you, If you're a coin collector, you put them in there. I can't think right now what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. A lot of... Um, ladies on here have been doing little projects with this. And here is another little bee charm. I love that one. It's got the big um, gem in the middle. And then here we've got a flip out that comes out. So there's additional writing space there. And again, I love the images. Snippet roll uh, belly band and another little handmade journal card. Some more trim here, writing space, and the snippet tabs have just come out beautiful. And then here's a little glassine pocket. And then this is some of the straw paper, and I've done some stenciling on that. Um, here, I've just made a little tuck spot, and then this handmade journal card that's been backed with tea dye paper. And then this flips over with another little pocket here. And this is a decoupaged uh, journal card that I made. So this should keep her busy for writing for quite a while. Back in here, I put a large coin envelope so she can add some things in there. Um, it's pretty big. Um, when it's closed um, it's about five inches and as I said the spine is about a two and a half inch spine and this is about um, really about seven inches by ten <laughs> um, you know with all of the trims and everything so I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, let you see what I've been staying busy with. I've got um, a few more journals I'm working on now, custom orders, so uh, like I said, I don't normally have time to to show all of those because it's um, 
it's just full on trying to get them done. But I hope you've enjoyed that. I really have enjoyed making this journal. I hope everybody is safe and well out there, and I will see you soon. Bye.